Some of us are naturally talented at certain things that we do, where others often have to work twice as hard to render half the results. And I understand that that can really suck working hard every day, not seeing the results that we think we deserve. One of the reasons behind this psychological behavior is the fact that we are comparing ourselves to the rest of the world. We sometimes skew our perceptions and hone in on those individuals we believe to have had overnight success. And sometimes people do, but more often than not, they don't. You see, while making this video, I realized growing up, my parents would compare me to every other kid and perhaps that had negative effects on me. And truth be told, I always, without realizing, compared myself to anybody else that I can as a point of reference, and that actually allowed me to quit things quite easily because, again, the results that I believe I deserved are the results of someone else. So why does it feel like some people just learn certain things quicker than you do? Well, it's actually pretty obvious and simple when you think about it. I want to go over the fact that learning from others is a great thing. In fact, it will help expedite a lot of your learning curvatures. But learning from others can also be dangerous. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you see, we all have opinions, right? We all have different opinions and those opinions manifest from our personal experiences. And those experiences, depending on what you want to learn, may make things easier or harder. What you did in the past will directly affect your present and your future. How you decide to spend your time today is so damn important to what you want to do tomorrow. See, trying something new and becoming good at it isn't a mystery at all. We all know that consistency and repetition are the fundamental keys to getting better at something. And whatever it is that you want to get better at, the earlier you decide, the more prepared you can be for it. Now obviously it's not always that simple and straightforward, but let's say you want to become a content creator. Well, if you're young enough that you're still going to school, there are a lot of things in school that will help you become a great content creator. For example, when you're learning to create a thesis and writing an essay around that, it's not that different from writing a script for YouTube videos. So if you're someone who's good at writing essays, then when you change over to writing scripts for YouTube videos, your learning curvature will be shorter. Another great example of this is professional athletes. I mean, whether you're talking about basketball, baseball, skateboarding, snowboarding, whatever the case may be, those that are at the very top of their field are usually the ones that have been doing it since childhood. So you really want to figure out what it is that you want to do with the rest of your life to have a competitive advantage. Now that could be a very daunting task because when you're young, you don't know as much as you would 10, 20 years down the line and you can't make all of the choices in the world. But that's when I'm going to tell you just relax and take it one step at a time. Find something that you're passionate about, something that you can focus on, and then master that to the best of your abilities. Once you do master it, or at least get very damn near close, and let's say you happen to realize that you don't really enjoy this or you want to do something different, depending on what that thing is, that, that different thing is, it might be easier for you to catch on to that. And even if it's not easier for you to catch on to that, you can still leverage the things that you've learned from your previous endeavor. So for example, anything that you want to learn will take discipline, will take trial and error, will take consistency, and all of those characteristics that I just mentioned will help you in the next endeavor and any endeavor that you go on. Because again, those are the characteristics that are required for success. So when you ask why some people learn faster than others, the purpose of this video? The true answer, or at least my opinion, is don't even worry about that because it doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. You know, we all have different experiences in our life and the past that fundamentally shapes our present and our future. And if you focus on yourself rather than others and their results, then in the long run, you're going to be better for it. Learn from others. Don't compare yourself to them. My name is Rai with Company Comprehension. Make sure you invest in yourself, subscribe to this channel, and watch these videos to get a better understanding in who you are and what you're capable of. Because in the end of the day, we're all capable of so much more than a lot of us end up doing. And I'll leave you with this quote that I heard many years back that really stuck to me. The richest places in the world is graveyards. Because graveyards are where the ambitions and dreams of all of those individuals that have not been able to accomplish dies off. Don't let your dreams die off when you do. Be the better you. Be the best you. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.